Did you hear the singer Alia was killed in a plane crash this weekend? She was only 22. Yeah, I heard. She was in the Bahamas shooting a music video. That's so sad. Hey there, I'm in your master's class. My name is Sheila. I'm an international student from India. Hey, it's that Indian girl from class. Welcome to Chicago. I'm Ken. Hi, Sheila. I'm Jen. Where in India are you from? I'm from the larger city, Mumbai, which had been called Bombay until it was officially renamed a few years ago. Maybe people in India didn't like the Mighty Ducks movies. I beg your pardon. Gordon Bombay, Emilio Estevez's character? Bad joke, I know. Here she comes. She'll ask where my family is from. Hello, I'm in your graduate class. I'm Sheila from Mumbai. Nice to meet you, Sheila. I'm Nana from California. Hello, Nana. Nice to meet you too. What is your last name? Rama Jayan. Rama Jayan? So you're South Indian. Well played, Sheila. Well played. Yes, my parents are from Southern India, but I am from Southern California. I still can't believe it. I'm at a loss for words. What's going on? What happened? Do you remember Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Um, yeah. The actress Tweet Trang who played the original Yellow Ranger was killed Monday in a car accident in California. This Monday? That was Labor Day. Trina, you were my favorite. Everyone else loved the Pink Ranger, but you were the best Trini. That was two days ago. You just found out today? Sorry for not sitting in the library surfing the internet 24 hours a day. Go easy on him. This isn't a good time. Sheila, did they air Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on TV in India? Wait, what did you say? I'm not Sheila. I'm Nana from California. Sheila is the other Indian girl in our class. She's the one from India, not me. Ken, seriously? My bad. What do you think of our Halloween costumes? Indian wear? I love it. Kim and Tim, that is so adorable. And what do you think of our costumes, Sheila? Hey, I'm Nana. Sheila is over there. Can't you tell us apart? Those costumes are highly inappropriate. Don't forget that the terrorist attacks have spurred racial targeting of Middle Eastern and South Asian Americans. In this climate, you shouldn't be demeaning our peoples by donning our traditional garb for a few laughs on Halloween. After the attacks, a sick man in Arizona was gunned down by a racist who mistook him for a Muslim. Yeah, well, the truly sick men are Bin Laden and his followers. Sheila, you'll never believe what happened. Another airplane crashed in New York today. Kim, I'm not Sheila, I'm Nana. Keep it quiet up there. This is a library. Sheila, are you going back to India for Christmas break? You know that airport security will be tight. Beth, I'm Nana. And I'm Sheila. I will be returning to India for the holidays. Oh, sorry about that, Nana. I'm definitely going back home for the break. But home for me is California, not India. Nana, how is a California girl like you handling our Midwestern winters? Seth, I'm not Nana, I'm Sheila from India. Oh, so then you're really not used to this kind of weather. No, I'm not. It's too bad the Bears closed out Old Soldier Field with a playoff loss to the Eagles. I don't follow American football. The Bears will play at the Fighting Illini Stadium in Champaign next season, before moving into the new Soldier Field to be built within the historic Greek-columned exterior of the old stadium. Seth. 
the XFL's Chicago Enforcers played at Soldier Field last year. That was the spring league run by the World Wrestling Federation. But the XFL folded after one season. See it, I'm freezing. Let's go inside. Oh yeah, sorry. Hey Sheila, is this your first winter in America? Oh, for crying out loud. Hey Nana, did you see the Super Bowl? What a great game, Manuela. It was good to see the Patriots win their first title, plus there was a nice halftime tribute to the 9-11 victims. Hey Nana, I know you're from Southern California. Were you rooting for the Rams? Come on Mo, after they abandoned the Southland for St. Louis, no way. Hey Sheila, the Super Bowl was last night. Do you understand American football? Jackie, I'm not Sheila from India. I'm Nana from America. Of course I understand football. Yeah, well, don't expect me to IM you anytime soon. Is this how Americans celebrate St. Patrick's Day? By getting tonsured? No, Americans celebrate St. Patrick's Day by getting drunk. If you were donating hair to make wigs, a ponytail would have sufficed. But the point is to go bald in solidarity with cancer-stricken kids. So you're saying people paid money to see you get your head shaved off, with the proceeds benefiting childhood cancer research? Yes, and I was able to solicit over $2,000 in donations. Well, that is quite a noble cause. I would gladly donate money to that charity. But I won't shave off my head. Whoa, Sheila, what happened to you? You must have had a wild spring break. Yeah, Sheila, I hope you brought a hat, because it's freezing outside. I did bring a hat, and I'm not Sheila. I'm Nana. We're sitting at the same table and you still can't tell us apart. Hey Sheila, if you bleached your hair you'd look just like the rapper Eve. Tim, I'm Nana. How many months have we been in class together? And was that remark necessary? Conflating me with a hip-hop star because we're both women of color reflects your internalized sense of white male privilege. Hey I never brought race into this. I was just pointing out how Eve has closely cropped hair. In fact, if I bleached my hair I'd look like Eminem. Or maybe Nick Hexum from 311. Sheila is from India, I'm from California. Sheila has a bourgeois Mumbai accent, I have a SoCal Valley girl accent. And to top things off, we look nothing alike. I mean, look how much lighter skin Sheila is compared to me. We've just completed our first year in this program, and several of you have routinely confused Sheila and me because we're the only two South Asians in our class. And I'm singling out the white students because I haven't experienced anything like this with students of color. Seriously, have I ever mixed up any two white students in our class? No. What's her problem? Nana, I have some good news. Now what? Do you remember the charity that you raised money for on St. Patrick's Day? I'm reminded every time I look in the mirror. Well, a syndicated radio show is in town this afternoon for one day only. They're running in on a contest and offering a prize of $5,000. I would love to win that money and donate it to the charity. So I applied for a spot and got invited. What's the show's name? It's called the o and Show. o and a Did you say o and a Sheila, do you know who those guys are? They're vile, disgusting misogynists. I suggest you skip out. Trust me on this. Come on, Nana. How bad can they be? To our lady listeners, when you see an Opie and Anthony Show bumper sticker with the WOW logo, you're highly encouraged to lift up your top and expose your bare breasts to the occupants of the vehicle. Yeah, show us your cans. That's sickening. Sheila, I'm only listening to this filth because of you. Remember, WOW no longer stands for Whip'em Out Wednesday. It now stands for Whip'em Out Whenever. Now we have caller Tommy on the line from nearby Oak Park, Illinois. Tommy, welcome to O&A. Hey guys. So what did you want to say about WOW? I wanted to say... Now we have caller Tommy on the line from nearby Oak Park, Illinois. Tommy, welcome to O&A. Hey guys. So what did you want to say about WOW? I wanted to say... Yeah? Well I just hit the dump button. Tommy we can't use that language on air. Opie and I drop F-bombs all the time off air. But due to FCC regulations we broadcast on a delay and utilize the dump button. No kidding. Summer's coming. I want to see lots of boobies. I love his enthusiasm. So I just picked up my WOW sticker this week. Very good. And I'm flying.
flying out to Jersey for the softball game, so I'll see you guys there. Hey, Tommy. Yeah, Jimmy? Norton, why'd you have to do that? Come on, Opie. He always does that. That's his thing. Yeah, what's the problem? Ginger John Tesh. Ginger John Tesh. Oh man, yeah, actually there is a resemblance. Hey, we're trying to grow our audience here in Chicago, and you just hung up on a local listener who'll be flying out to see us in Newark. So, what's the problem? And you're checking out the OP and Anthony show, featuring our resident stand-up comic Jim Norton. Jeepers Creepers. Or as we like to call him, Lil Jimmy. I stink. So we're on the road in the Windy City today. 105.9 WCKG. And we'll be back at WNEW in New York tomorrow. So what's on the docket? Hey and our contestant is here. This is the What Would You Do For $5,000 contest, courtesy of Samuel Adams Lager. Sam Adams sponsors our annual Sex for Sam competition. Hey yeah, Sex for Sam 3 is coming up in August. Norton, I know you enjoy that. Yes sir. Definitely looking forward to that. Sam Adams Chairman Jim Cook will be back as the Grand Marshal of Sex for Sam in August. He's a good sport. So, yeah, you can come on in. Welcome. Have a seat. So we have a lovely young lady here on the program. And what is your name? My name is Sheila. And where are you from? I'm from India, but currently I'm a first year master's student here in Chicago. India, huh? Do you do a Bollywood dance for us? Will that win me the $5,000? No, you'll have to do something a little more challenging. Eager for the cash, eh? That's not all she's eager for. Norton. Hello, is there a doctor in the house? I'd rather hug Magic Johnson after you rolled around in barbed wire. I hope you all get AIDS and die. I wish I had AIDS so I could bite somebody. Okay, Norton. We get the picture. So, Sheila, what would you do with the money if you win it? Well, a friend of mine recently raised money for a charity to support childhood cancer research, so if I win, I donate the entire sum to this charity. Really? All of it? You wouldn't even keep a portion of it? That's correct. Hey, you're a student. Wouldn't you use the money to pay for tuition and stuff? Actually, I have enough to cover my fees, but as a student there is little else that I can offer in terms of donations, since this charity supports a wonderful cause I would love to help out. Well, that is quite admirable of you. Sheila, I'm impressed. You are the sweetest girl to ever appear on this program. Honestly, you're the sweetest. Thank you. You're definitely the most innocent. Hey Sheila, do you listen to this show? Actually, no. Aha. Uh -huh. Caught her red-handed. Judges, disqualify this contestant. No, no, we already invited her. Let her play. Whoa, I forgot to mention the softball game. Oh yes, the softball game. It's all Norton's fault. When he hung up on the last caller, he made me lose my train of thought. Oh brother. The OP and Anthony Celebrity Softball Game is coming up on Saturday, June 1st at noon at Riverfront Stadium in Newark, New Jersey. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster. Yeah, we'll feature my team the tools. Against my team the psychos. Players will include ONA show regulars Jim Norton. What? Why me? Jim Brewer, Jay Moore, Stephen Lynch, Rich Boss, Paul Mercurio, as well as my brother Brett and Ant's brother Joe. Plus we'll have the Titanic slide and iceberg, the Crank Yankers truck, Frenchie's dunking boot. So Kit, I am Frenchie, you drink hillbilly. And I'm from the south, I'm a drink hillbilly. I'm a drink hillbilly. And I'm a redneck from the south, I drink beer till I pass out. And there's the $25,000 softball throw, and we'll shave Stalker Patty's head. Our guest has a confused look. Are you confused about something? Who is Talker Patty? Patty is a homeless middle-aged ex-stripper who has been living in our New York radio building for the last few months. She appears on our show and other shows at our station, and she never seems to go away so we call her Stalker Patty. We once paid her to have her head shaved on air, and we're doing it again in front of all the fans at the game. Okay, so let's get down to business. It's time to play What Would You Do For $5,000? And our contestant is Sheila, a young grad student from India. So Sheila, in order to win the $5,000, you will have to. Let's see. Ant's going to read it. What do we have here? Oh my. This is good. Sheila, you will have to put on a bikini. And then we'll cover your body in chocolate syrup. And Jimmy here is going to lick it all off. What? I can't do that. 
You're a sweet girl. If you don't do it, you won't win the prize. Hey, this is a radio show. Listeners can't see anything going on in here. No, but we have a live webcam. Foundrymusic.com for all you kids listening at home. Just walk away, Sheila. Just walk away. Hey Anthony, I have a disposable camera. Will you take some pictures? Holy S. Imagine when they develop those photos. Yeah, they'll be like, take a look at that schlub licking chocolate off that hot Indian chick's belly. Do you always do insane things like this on air? Pretty much. We were fired from a Massachusetts station four years ago after announcing on April Fool's Day that Boston's mayor was killed in a car wreck during his Florida vacation. Don't look at me. I wasn't on this show back then. Full disclosure, the whole thing was Opie's idea. The best part was that Menino was on the flight back to Boston as our show aired, so no one could reach him. Sheila, if you can't go through with this. No, I can't do it. Hey Ant, since she's trying to support a good cause, let's give her an alternate option. Oh, I see what you mean. An option B. So what should she do for option B? Shave her head. That's it. Shave her head. No, not my hair. So there you have it, Sheila. What's it going to be? Option A. You wear a bikini and Jimmy licks chocolate syrup off of you. Yummy. Or option B. Jimmy shaves your head. I have the clippers. Or option C. You go home with nothing. The choice is yours, but I recommend option A. I'd hate to see a pretty girl like you lose all that hair. I recommend option A because I'd like to see you in a bikini. Either option is fine with me. So Sheila, what'll it be? Yes, yeah, Sheila, what'll it be? In that case, I will choose. Option? So you chose option B? You were my inspiration, Nena. I wanted to walk out, but then I wouldn't win the prize. And I was not going to take off my clothes and pose for those idiots. I'm proud of how you handled yourself in front of those jerks. Although I will admit they were supportive of my cause. And in addition to the $5,000 going to charity, I was able to donate my hair to make wigs for young cancer patients, so that's an added bonus. Did you feel bad about losing your hair? Of course, but then I realized something, winning unearned money and then transferring it to a charity. That doesn't really count as a sacrifice. This, on the other hand, does. Well, you look great. Really? Thanks. Better than me, actually. No, I wouldn't say that. How will your family react? When I get down at Bombay, my mother will scream. But it's okay because it was for a good cause. And you picked the right time of year. In my case, I couldn't step outside without a hat. Oh, that is true. Holy smokes, Nana. Not again. Nana, why did Sheila shave her head? Sheila, why did you shave your head? A couple months ago it was Nana, and now it's you. I don't believe it. Was it for that same charity? Yes, Ken, it was for the same charity. Ken, you didn't mix us up. You actually got our names correct. Yeah, I guess I did. Hey, a bunch of us from class are celebrating the end of our first year by heading out to see the premiere of Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Would you two like to join? Absolutely. Count me in. Hey Sheila, if anyone should be wearing this Mace Windu costume, it should be you. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, I perfectly understand. Okay, this is not a good look for me. Sheila, how did you do that? I used the force, of course. And I'm not Sheila, I am Mace Windu.